Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Football with Head Coach Ron Roberts as we're right here at Student Union Park as it's lunch with the Lions during homecoming week here in 2013. Your Lions were on the road this past weekend at Northwestern State. Let's check out the first half highlights. Well, Coach, we're getting ready to come out here at Northwestern State. Hostile environment, environment on the road. It was their homecoming. They had a big crowd and uh, you take the field for a big conference matchup. Yeah, we, we traveled really well too. We had a great crowd, our cheerleaders were there. Uh, all that helped to, to, to get the environment started. Uh, they come out here obviously and had a little success running the football. They popped a few runs up inside, running the zone with 31 is a really good back. Uh, I thought our defense was flying around early. Uh, we made a lot of plays, we were getting a lot of hats to the ball. I thought in the first half we played pretty good on defense side of the ball. Yeah, really did. You see Q Hubert coming here making a big tackle on their running back. Uh, they came out and it seemed like their game plan was to try to be physical. Did a lot of quarterback runs in this game. And I know we'll talk about that more as the highlights go on, but our offense comes out on the field. Uh, first play of the game, a little pass here to Jeremy Myers. Yeah, I thought, uh, again, when we started out, you know, looked pretty good. We, we go a couple three and outs. Uh, they get the ball back. Uh, they run the football again. Uh, we made a little adjustments there. You see we're going to make the quarterback uh, to pull the football on several options. Uh, this is a quick screen they got out. Uh, they go to an empty set, caught us in a blitz, uh, and they get a big chunk of yards there on, on the screen. But I thought uh, for the most part, it was very difficult for them to, to run the football. Uh, first half, our defense uh, stiffened up. We gave up some big plays, but we, we stiffened up as it got close to the red zone. Yeah, they seemed like they had the ball in our territory for a lot of the first half, but our defense kept holding, they kept kicking field goals, they missed a couple of those, we're going to see those throughout the highlights, but that was big right there to keep them off the scoreboard early in the ball game. Yeah, it's going to do that obviously twice. Uh, we'll come here, obviously hit, hit Tony McCray, who had a great ball game. thought Tony played exceptionally well. thought Jeff Smiley played really well. You're going to see a couple catches on his part as well in the highlights. Here's another little screen pass, a uh, little rollout bootleg that they complete. A lot of play action, a lot of get the ball out of the quarterback's hand quick. But here's the quarterback running the football. I don't know if we saw there's a whole lot going into the game, but he had a pretty good game running the ball. Yeah, they had not done a lot of it, really. Uh, had not ran him quite as, as much, and that was kind of the plan for us. Our part was really to, to take the running back away and make him have to pull the ball out and do something different than they've been doing. So another uh, field goal, and they miss it. Now here's just a great play. Good coverage there, great throw, great catch. You got to just tip your hat to that young man. Nice yeah. play. That was uh, 33. He had a great ball game, and that's a big time play he just made right there. I thought we had a great position on uh, in our secondary. Uh, come right back out. Brian finds uh, Chris Malott down the sidelines for a big gain, taking out the mid midfield. So at this point, uh, it's seven nothing there on top. Our drive stalls. We have to give the ball back to those guys. Uh, they get a little run here, get it down inside of our territory. Um, and they set up for a field goal, and they, they finally make one, and uh, they go up 10 nothing. Yeah, at that type of point, uh, I thought they really were, they were playing well. I'm going to tip my hat to them on that part. Uh, they were playing well. Here we come back up. Brian's going to find Jeff Smiley. That was uh, a big third down. Third big down. Third down. He's been a he's been a big he's been a very consistent player for us. He's had some big time catches in the last last several weeks. Another nice throw here inside their territory is uh, Tony McCray. Good run after the catch. This was a big drive by our offense. We're down 10 nothing, and we're able to come back and answer and get points. Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, we're going to get a couple of key runs here. Uh, this is what he does. Brian's going to pull the ball out here, make a huge gain, gets a big block in the corner there by Devontae Scott, and uh, gets us on the board. So at this point, it's 10 to 7. Uh, doing a very nice job of getting back in the ball game right there. And they come out and continue trying to run the football. Um, and they had much more success in the first half than the second half. I know you guys got this adjusted, but they did have some success running the football in the first half. Yeah, they did. And when we made a share of mistakes there. There again, there was a miss responsibility by our defensive end. We didn't squeeze, didn't take, the, didn't take the ball. We had got out of the gaps a little bit. They get the ball down here. This is a big sequence. Right before the half, uh, they have it first and goal with the one. Yeah, this is a big one. Uh, we'll make a stop there. Uh, they can jump off sides, which is a huge play, uh, and then uh, obviously make a great play. Uh, Todd Washington defending the play there in the end zone and uh, make them kick the field goal, which was huge going into 13-7 for the half. Coach, we saw that was a big play to, to hold them to 13-7 to right there, but this was only the second time all year that you trailed. What was the message at halftime? Well, the uh, message at halftime was really is that we didn't feel we played very well in the first half. Uh, felt fortunate right there to be down only 13-7. to and uh, it was time for us to come out and execute. And, and uh, we knew we were going to get their best in the second half, and, and we were going to have to come out and fight. And every, every possession was going to count. 
All right, well, let's take a break. When we come back, we're going to take a look at the second half highlights right here on Inside Southeastern Football with head coach Ron Roberts.